Who doesn't like holding a record? Am I right? Today, we're excited to show you some of the most amazing, outrageous, unimaginable world records in football history. Number 10 on our list is reserved for a boy who's come a long way from being a Norwegian teenager chopping wood back at home to becoming one of the biggest sensations in the world of football, Erling Holland. We got the chance to meet Holland and his skills at Under 20's Euro 2019 in Poland. During the first two matches in the group stage, Holland didn't even come close to scoring a goal. I know, I also couldn't believe that. However, during the third and final game of the group stage against Honduras, Holland, who by the way at that time looked more like a boy band member than a football player, scored a hat trick of hat tricks. Nine goals! We're not joking, honestly. We couldn't joke about that even if we wanted to, because to tell you the truth, we're a bit intimidated by this beast. We're moving fast to number nine and a goal that Christopher Cromer would like to erase from his memory. Why, you ask? Because it is simply ridiculous. During a Bundesliga clash between Borussia Dortmund and Borussia Mönchengladbach in 2014, Christopher Cromer scored an amazing goal. Hmm, but something doesn't seem right here. Why is Cromer not celebrating? It's because he should have scored on the other side of the pitch. Kramer received a ball 45 meters from his goal and scored a beautiful lob over Jan Sommer. This is simply ridiculous. What was going on inside Kramer's head? Sommer was fuming. You could literally see him thinking, bro, what the hell? Well, Borussia Mönchengladbach can sign me as well because I promise that I won't do much worse than Kramer. Number eight on our list is something that happens once in a lifetime. This goal presents some incredible skills which helped it win several awards. Maybe Hong Min Sun could get the nickname The Storm or The Lightning. You wonder why? It all comes down to one goal he scored against Burnley back in December 2019. Tottenham won 5-0 and Sun scored the third goal of the match. But the way he did it was simply glorious. He took the ball just on the edge of Tottenham's penalty box and rushed towards Burnley's goal. At the moment he received the ball, eight of his teammates, including the goalkeeper, were inside their own penalty box. Sun ran 80 meters in one go and ended scoring a goal that won the FIFA Puskas Award in 2020 and Premier League goal of the season. But let's go back to the goal for a second. 80 meters in one go? Did he use a scooter? Number seven on our list left the whole football world speechless. And what is even more crazy? Who the hell is a guy that scored it? What are the things you can do in 2 minutes and 21.88 seconds? To give you a better chance, we will round that to 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, I think I could eat a whole sandwich in that time, if I tried hard. Maybe I could make myself a cup of coffee in less than 141 seconds. No, no, for making a coffee, I would need a bit more than that. Well, the next record holder, James Hader. I know, I know what you're saying. Bro, show us Neymar, Ronaldo, or Messi. But wait for just a few more seconds, and you'll change your mind. James Hader scored a hat trick in 2004, playing for Bournemouth in the second division against Wrexham. You're connecting the pieces of the puzzle, right? We mentioned 2 minutes and 21.88 seconds, then a hat trick. Your common sense tells you that you didn't understand it well, but you did. Hader needed 141 seconds to score three goals. What is he, an alien? After seeing goal number six, you might think that you can fly, but don't forget, you're not Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely one of the best players to have ever played the game. He is well known as a goal machine, someone that every defense fears, and they fear him for a reason. Ronaldo can score long-range goals, free kicks, goals after solo runs, headers, and we still stop at headers. Among the many that Ronaldo holds, there is one that is quite amazing. It is a header against his former club, Manchester United, in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 in 2013. DeMario sent a cross inside of the penalty box. Evra was near Ronaldo, but the Frenchman could just watch how Superman scores the goal. Ronaldo's jump was measured at 2.93 meters, and since we know that Cristiano's height is 187 centimeters, that means that his feet were 1.06 meters from the grass. Oh my God! One advice for Evra, next time, bring some ladders. 
That should probably be enough to outjump Ronaldo. No way. Impossible. How on earth can someone do that? Those are all the things you will say after seeing number five on the list and the greatest Swedish player in history. There is no doubt that Zlatan Abramovic is a world-class player. And even if there was any doubt, who would dare to say that, right? With Zlatan's skills, the way he's built, and his character, it was not difficult to become a serious threat to goalkeepers. In 2012, England faced Sweden in a friendly match. The score was 3-2 in favor of Sweden, and the game was coming close to an end. The stoppage time was on, and the ball was sent towards Zlatan. Joe Hart was faster, and he sent the ball away from the goal to safety. Safety, that word simply can't be put in the same sentence alongside Abramovich. Nevertheless, Abramovic scored a beautiful bicycle kick from 30 meters away. All hail King Zlatan! A mind-blowing record that would be impossible to achieve playing FIFA, not to mention real life. I could watch number four on our list for hours. Robert Lewandowski scored five goals in just nine minutes. What else could you want from a striker? It doesn't get any better than that. It happened in September 2015 against Wolfsburg. Lewandowski was a bit quiet during the first 50 minutes of the game, but the period from 51st until 60th minute could be described as fireworks. We don't even have to check if this is a world record. How could it not be? By the way, I have just one question. What is Wolfsburg's defensive line getting paid for? Well, despite all that, the striker performed a true work of art. Even Pep Guardiola, Bayern's coach at that time, couldn't hide his amazement. After the match, Pep said, I don't understand this. Five goals? I've never in my life witnessed something like that. Whether as a player or a coach, this is the last person on earth that you would expect to see as someone who set a world record. But he did. The chances of winning a lottery are higher than what happened at number three on our list. Can you imagine that even Nicholas Lord Bentner holds a world record in football? He does. He does. Don't laugh. The London Derby between Arsenal and Tottenham in 2007 ended 2-1 in favor of the Gunners. While the score was one all, Arsene Wenger decided to introduce a fresh pair of legs on the pitch, and Bentner got his chance. He needed 1.8 seconds to hit the back of the net. How on earth is that possible? It is. When you have Cesc Fabregas in his prime sending the corner kick in, and well, when you're Bentner and just born under a lucky star, I guess. He won't tell his kids about this record, that's for sure. This player probably wishes that the internet didn't exist at that time, but you know what they say, once on YouTube, always on YouTube. Number 2. Serge Jawua You may have never heard of him before, but there is no doubt that you will remember him. Jawua was able to get a red card after spending 3 seconds on the pitch. Bro, are you serious? 3 seconds? 1, 2, 3, and that's it? Serge came in as a substitute because his team was losing 3-1 in a Greek second division game between Gilfidas and Olympiakos Volos. He was supposed to make a difference. Well, in a way he did, right? Maybe he just didn't understand the rules well. Maybe he thought the sport he was playing was American football. We all have had our fair share of embarrassing moments. I know I did, but none of them came compared to number one on our list. This will make you laugh and cry at the same time. The game between women's national teams between USA and New Zealand on February 20th, 2022 ended 5-0 in favor of USA. The score at halftime was 3-0 and there's nothing strange about that. However, if we told you that Michaela Moore scored a hat trick in just 35 minutes during the first half, what would you say? Yes, completely normal. But we have forgotten to inform you about one teeny tiny detail. Michaela Moore plays for New Zealand. A hat trick of own goals? Well, not a lot of people can manage to do that. This affected Moore harshly. She even had to consult with a therapist, which turned out pretty well for Michaela. According to her, she can now even laugh about it. This has been a hell of a ride. Stay tuned and see you in our next video.